So now we're going to be focusing on the pathway of the ear, right? So if you look at this picture, you'll be like, what's, what is this? I am lost for words of what this is. Well, this is basically a very easy schematic of showing you how sound is being processed throughout the ear, right? So before we get started, ear is composed of three specific regions. You have the external, the internal, and middle ear, right? Not in that order, of course, right? So external, middle, and, and inner. And the way sound is being processed, right, is through specific type of receptors, right? So in the eye, we remember we talked about the photoreceptors, right? In the ear, we're focusing majority of the time on the mechanoreceptors, right? So the mechanoreceptors generated from the different vibrations, changing these pressure gradients inside the paralymph that causes these specific hair cells to vibrate and move, creating this action potential at that nerve in order to create information to be processed by the ear, right? So we begin, as we said before, we start off here, you have this region, your ear, another name for your ear is called your auricle, right? So the auricle's main function is for maintenance of aesthetics, right? So people don't like their ears sometimes and whatever, but I'm just joking. So here, the ear structure here is connected to this little canal. This is called the acoustic medius, so the external acoustic medius. So another name for this is ear canal, right? So this region here, this is where all of the sound is being generated, right? And so from the auricle to this next region here at the end of the external acoustic medius, this is known as the tympanic membrane. The tympanic membrane is another name for it is eardrums, right? So from the auricle to the tympanic membrane, we have the external ear. So this is the external ear where sound enters and is on the verge for being processed, right? From the external ear to this snail-like structure called the bony labyrinth, we call, we begin the middle ear. So this is referred to as the middle ear region of the, of the ear, right? And it's composed of specifically these bony structures, we call those ossicles. So ossicles here are, are produced in order to amplify sound, right? So going from a gas medium to eventually a solid medium, you can see there's an amplification of sounds. In the ossicles, all I always want you to remember is M-I-S, malleus, incus and stapes. This is the order also. Um, and these are the three separate bones of the ossicles that help amplify sound receiving from the tympanic membrane. So the tympanic membrane here is in pink, if you don't remember. So tympanic membrane here, and its main function is to allow for the transmittance of sound, right? So these vibrations created, and we enter the middle ear, and the middle ear from the malleus incus to the stapes uh, causes this this vibration to be transferred over, right? And so when we're looking here, connecting the stapes to the rest of the ear, this is referred to as the inner ear. So you have the inner ear, all the information now here is produced. Now we want to generate some kind of action potential. So the action potential wants to be generated in order to process the information to create some kind of response. All right. So the stapes connect to this region, this, the entire region here, this is called the bony labyrinth. So including, you know, the cochlea, the vestibules, the uh, cochlear canal, right? Vestibular canal. So let's see. So we have the labyrinth. So this is called the bony labyrinth. And it's composed of the cochlea, the vestibule, Okay. And these specific regions help further amplify sound, right? And in the cochlea region of the bony labyrinth, there is a high prevalence of paralymph. Paralymph is a fluid that allows for the absorbance of all the shock waves that are created from these vibrations in order to go into this final region here. We call it the, or the uh, organ of corti of corti inside the, the cochlea, or you can't see it, you need some kind of cross-section of it, here, where you have a prevalence of these hair cells. These hair cells 
are these mechanoreceptors, are, are connected to these mechanoreceptors, and the movement of these hair cells causes the information of, to be processed, right? And so all of this information is being processed by this nerve right here. So we call, in blue, this is called the vestibular cochlear nerve. Does you remember what nerve this is? This is nerve number what? Number eight, right? And all this information goes to the vestibular cochlear nerve, right? And then this impulse is pushed, finally, to where? To the brain, and what region of the brain? The temporal region of the brain. And this is where all of this auditory information is being processed, right? Looks simple now, right?